Yo, 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 everybody. Welcome to another game with me, Creator B. That's right. We're here playing Pinball FX, brought to you by Zen Studios. Thanks to the developers for sending me over a key. Or at least what I thought was a key. This is the game. Let's check it out. We'll see what we got in my tables. We have uh, Wild West available. So uh, there you go. We'll check that out. And you can see there's a lot of other trials. Town by its All right, I'm going to bore you to death. This is just your typical pinball game. Uh, pinball FX has a huge array of uh, trial games that you can try. You can also buy coins in the game to actually purchase uh, add-ons and collectibles, which I'll show you in a bit. But uh, the idea is that you uh, dress up your room, oh, buy games, and just sit around and shoot some balls, baby. That's right, shoot the balls, or play with the balls, I should say. Oh... All right, so so the game is pretty generic. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna check out what what I wanted to see. But uh, yeah, once you once you finish playing your game and you hit that score, the nice thing about the game there is a there is a leaderboard. I mean, you know what else can you say? What else can you do? I mean, but post your score, right? I mean, it's it's a benefit to playing the game, I guess. Check it out. Let's look at this. Let's look at the, the board. Oh, look at that! I got myself a six hundred thousand, and I've never really played pinball virtually. You get these collectibles based on actual uh, challenges that are put up against you. You got this AI who who's in the game and she's always like throwing things at her name, uh, Ramona. She's always throwing stuff at you, so that's kind of cool. I mean, you could play the game and you know enjoy it a little bit more. So that that's one thing that Zen Studios has plied in there. I mean, and and the nice thing is you collect things like uh, you know these little add-ons and doohickeys that uh, you know you get in the game. All right, let's look at some of the doohickeys that we can get in the game. All right, so here you can see I, I, I've got a seasonal reward unlocked, and it's basically all it is is just the dumb dumb icons, you know, that they give you when you do a challenge. I mean, it's a nice little thing, it's a nice little incentive to play a game, but sometimes, sometimes you just you're not too you know interested in just playing games to get little dumb dumb things. So let's go and see what these coins are that the devs sent me and what we could do with them. All right, so. In the game, we have coins, which you can see up in my top right-hand corner. We got some coins, and then in the actual game itself, we also have things like uh, pinball tables. To add a pinball table to your collection, you gotta pay. And you can see the Canadian prices here. They, they're just like, I'm sorry, we, we're not gonna go into it, but I think they're a little bit astronomical, if you ask me. Over here, you could actually see the price of the coins, which again, these are... I'm sorry, not to sound bad, but that's a pretty intensive price. Now, I want you to take notice of this one here. $110 plus tax, of course, because you know what? The goddamn government's got to put their fingers in everything. So, yeah, but check that out. $110 for 1,200 points. And the reason I'm pointing that out is, you know what? The devs gave me 150 coins right there, which is only worth $17. So I ain't worth but 20 bucks to show this game to you. Jeez, that's pathetic. All right, uh, so, no, no, but seriously, let's check out why I'm showing you this. All right, so I wanted to show you this. Remember I showed you $110, you get 1,200 coins? So for one year, you can play all the pinball you want for $110. I'm sorry, and for 100, 150 coins, which is what I got, I get to play pinball for 30 days, which unlocks most of the tables, from what I understand, but uh, I'm sorry. $110 plus tax? God damn, let's just go back to the games and, and see how much those costed us. You remember the games back here? Where were they? Look at this. Like, uh, you know what? For $110, I think I could just buy myself uh, a couple of pinballs. Because how many fucking pinball games do you really need? Seriously, they're all the same goddamn fucking thing. I know what you're saying. You're like, what else can you do with all of these all of these coins? <laughs> here, here's what you could do with these coins. Check it out. You could dress up your pinball room and when you buy more games it adds pinball tables and when you buy more sh coins and you spend your coins this is what you get this is what you fucking get you get crap i gotta buy digital crap to throw in a room when all i want to do is play pinball truth is it's a fun little add-on but the fucking price value of this coins and this game just give me a total thumbs down thank you sorry don't like it Peace and love. I'm out of here.